Welcome to another 3D doodle with Orno van Bram from ornovanbram.com. Today we're gonna set up some blueprints in 3D Max to help you in modeling anything like planes, cars, tanks, even humans. Just if you want references, Im reference images into your scene, I'll show you how. We're gonna use this one, Porsche Boxster from 2004. So we copy this image and open it up in Photoshop. And then for each view, we're going to crop it. So we're going to copy this to a new file. And then crop, and we crop, and we crop, and we crop. And we're going to save it in here as Boxster side. Yes. Okay. Whoop. Then you can repeat this four times for all of them. Just crop, 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 crop until it exactly fits into your image. So you save this as the boxer front. Okay, okay, etc., etc. for the other two views. Then, in your explorer, you can open it up and you can have to add this column to your Explore dimensions. So as you can see, they're 213, 137 for the front and the rear is almost exactly the same, which is good. Then the side again is as, almost as high as this one, is one pixel off, but it's longer. And then the top is as long as this one, but it's as wide as the other ones again. So as you can see, this blueprint is fairly accurate. So what we're going to do is create a plane for the side view, which is 494 by 138 units. So 494 and 138. 138. 138. Set this to 1, that doesn't really matter. I'm going to move it to 0. 138 divided by 2. So we have our plane. We're going to add a new material, just a standard one. Set self illumination to 100. Add a bitmap into your diffuse slot. Choose the boxster side. It's an area. So we name this BP side for blueprint side. Assign the material. Show standard map in viewport. Or show, what is it? Show. Yes. So we rename this as BP side. So now we have the side done. It's the right aspect ratio. It's the same size as the original image. So this should be good. We're going to shift, rotate it by 90 degrees and make the front. Let's check it, it's 213 by 137, so we do this 213. Copy the other material, rename this to BP front, click Boxster front, do the sign, then we have the front. We're going to move this to the rear, actually, that makes more sense. We copy it for the rear. Copy this one, rename it. You're basically repeating every step four times. The same as in Photoshop, you crop it four times. This time you make four planes, 44 different images. So this would be the rear. Assign it. Only have the top, so we rotate this by 90 degrees. BP top, top, and move it down. Let's copy this. BP top. Select the right image. Sign. I'm going to check. It should be 494 by 209. So this should be 209. So there you have it. So we're almost there now, so we'll move this. So in basically in this little space of this cube here, that's where you will model your car. Let's see if the steering wheel is on the right side. No, it's not. So we rotate this whoop, by 180 degrees. So now it's correct. So there you have it. There's only one more thing to do. If you want to model in real world scale, which would make sense. 
then you look up the actual dimensions of the car. For instance, I've looked it up just now. The actual car should be 4320 millimeters long. But here it's 4940 millimeters. So you do 4940 divided by 4320. And then do that. So you have 87. 0.45 percent you should scale it so we scale this by 87.45 87.45 you move it back so if you create a new box now the actual size and the thing doesn't change it has a, has a scale now so it it doesn't really change but then when you create a box which should be the length of 43 20 millimeters right now as you can see, it's pretty close because I created it sloppily. So now everything you create is act actual real-world size. That's why you scale this. And there's another thing. Sometimes the blueprints aren't... Uh, the quality of the blueprints in your viewport isn't that good. As you can see, it already becomes pretty blurry when you zoom in. That's because the image is fairly small, but it could be even worse than this sometimes. You have to change the preferences and then viewports, configure driver have to change these things. So click this one, this one, highest, highest, and play around with these. I always have them on linear and nearest. You can also have them on linear and linear. You probably have to restart Max if you want to change it, if you uh, want to see the changes, but that is something I would uh, recommend if they uh, appear very pixely or very blurry in your viewboards. So that's it. That's how you set up blueprints and scale them to the correct size in your scene. I hope you learned something. Uh, until next time, bye-bye.